myself like I never before. You really mean? Cause you that kind of girl goes in Billy Doors. She is stepping out and proud of it. All right, so first off, I have my ingredients already organized. I've got some matcha green tea, which is amazing if you love green tea. I've also got some stevia just to make things a bit sweeter. And of course, some frozen bananas. Make sure your bananas are spotty before you use them. So putting my frozen bananas into my thermomix, putting a little bit of this stevia liquid sweetener stuff, which is like chocolate flavored. Mm, that's good. And then putting about a tablespoon or so of this matcha green tea powder in there as well. You may need a little bit of water just to help with blending, but basically what I'm going to do is blend it all together and voila, you have green tea ice cream. It is amazing. I'm putting it back into a bowl and just placing it back in the freezer so it gets a little bit more firm before we serve. So for my main smoothie bowl, I've got some maki powder. Of course, you can always use your own combinations of things. You don't have to do what I'm doing today. I've also got some spinach because I just love adding an element of some raw veggies in there just to really give me a boost. I've got frozen blackberries that I need to use up. I've had these for ages. And I do have three more frozen bananas. Also, I'm using a bit of macadamia milk and probably a bit of water to help it blend. So adding all of those into the blender, just a handful of the spinach and also the blackberries as well and just a good sprinkle of the maki powder um, I'm not really measuring it I'm just doing what I think it's always best with smoothie bowls to add less liquid because you can always add more and you, you just don't want it to be like soup you want it still to be like kind of ice cream texture <laughs> So for the garnish, you can literally use whatever you want. I feel the better garnished it is, the more you want to eat it. I've also got, as you can see, some dark chocolate in here because why not? <laughs> All right, so to plate it, <laughs> I'm just pouring in my smoothie mixture. It's a really nice consistency. It does go a little bit more runny out as it starts to kind of defrost that little bit. So I'm just smoothing it out and then I'm going in with all of my garnishes. I've got some coconut flakes, got some pumpkin kernels. Then I'm going in with some of my green tea ice cream, topping it off with some raspberries and that chocolate bark which is amazing it's got goji berries it's got some rose petals on it oh my gosh so this roughly is around 760 calories so i just really really wanted to stress to you guys not to be hung up on the idea of calories and thinking that less calories is better for you. It's, it's definitely not the case. A calorie does not equal the health of a food. Having something that's lower in calories does not make it healthier for you. In fact, most like diet chocolate mousses or a bar of chocolate could actually have less calories than a piece of fruit. But you all know that fruit is going to be healthier for you than a bar of chocolate, unless it's the dark chocolate bark, because why not? <laughs> But I just really wanted to stress to you guys, don't worry about the number of calories in your food. If you're eating whole foods, if it's healthy foods, then I say go to town. All this is vegan. As you can see, I made it myself. It is delicious. It's going to give me the most energy boost and full of life. And especially after a workout or even as dessert, this is just an amazing snack to have. Boost your immune system, your metabolism, all that stuff. It is just honestly amazing. So definitely give it a crack. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you want to see more more food related videos by clicking the eye above and answering my poll question and of course don't forget to like and subscribe I love you guys over the next few minutes I'm going to be telling you the truth about animal testing in the cosmetic industry most of you won't like what I'm about to tell you because most of your favorite brands are still to this day involved with torturing and in most cases killing animals